What's going on, everyone? And I'm here today with a very special television review. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done one of these. And, I, and of course, I've been putting it off, and I wanted to talk about it. Um, a couple months ago, uh, the Grand Tour released uh, The Massive Hunt. So uh, I wanted to give my thoughts about it. Um, yeah, yeah, I know. Even though I already talked a little bit about the Grand Tour already on this channel, but I wanted to t talk about uh, some of their specials. So I, I didn't do I didn't do one for the previous one. I wanted to talk about this one because um, it's still fresh in my mind. And I just want to talk about it because... It, to me, this was so entertaining and real fun, and it really gives gives everyone the sense of, okay, the Grand Tour, we miss these guys. We love Clarkson, Hammond, and May, and, and they deliver. And immediately, as soon, I, I heard that this originally this idea, the Mad Gasser Special, was originally supposed to be back when they were going to be on Top Gear. However, that got thrown out to it because Clarkson got got axed by the BBC because because he had fallen out with a, with a producer, not Andy Woman. It was a different producer. So yeah, so yeah, he was left, and then of course that whole debacle thing. So yeah, and now, so now here it is, the Madagascar special that fans, I, fans were, t were waiting for it, and here it is. It's a massive hunt. I finally got a chance to watch it, and immediately as soon as I started watching, this, I was getting vibes of vibes of the Africa special again because for some reason, like like the whole Africa special, if you remember that, with like that had a whole adventure element of it where they were on an, on a mission. To uh, find the source of the Nile buttons, but here in Massive Hunt, they were on the search for buried treasure from I forget what the name of the pirate is. It's very hard to pronounce. Um, because apparently he had buried some of his treasure in Madagascar. So, so that it's uh, that whole thing, and so they decide, okay. Um, well, let's see. Hammond is excited about it. James May is excited about it. And about it. But of course, uh, he, he, of course, Captain Slow, him being thing, and being the, doing his thing, and of course, Clarkson being the non-believer out of the three of them. So, so what do they do? They they get some cars. They traverse the wild to Madagascar to 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 this so-called location to find the treasure. It's fun. It's exciting. I, and of course, there's a whole lot of funny that made me laugh. Um, I really enjoyed this Top Gear or Grand Tour special. Um, yeah, and of course, there's the reason. And of course, you know, I was getting big Grand Tour, uh, you know, Top Gear vibes of the Africa special when when James May's driving around in a caterum in the mud. Yes, as soon as I saw them them traversing through those back muddy woods uh, uh, roads, I was really getting vibes of oh god, the, the Ugandan muddy roads. Oh my goodness, that was my my favorite highlight of the Africa special. Um, and so here, take what that and magnify it, even though it's not on a different level of it, but still damn funny. Watching James May drive a caterum was possibly the even more hysterical than ever. And as you don't know, if you don't know what a caterum is, it's essentially a giant go-kart on steroids. And uh, yeah, I did not expect that. Poor James May, May the one guy that was decided. Okay, no, I'm gonna go. No, I'm gonna think outside the box. He goes for a camera. And everyone's like, "What were you thinking, dude? Come on, get something crazy like a four focus." But of course, Clarkson. I felt Clarkson's car was a little out and out of the odd, out of the, also under odd boy out of the mix because if we have a K room. Uh, which is essentially go kart and wheels. You have the Ford Focus, which is fine. That that definitely fits the vibe. But then you have a Bentley. What? Out of all the cars in the fucking planet, pardon my French, he picks a fucking Bentley to go through the woods of freaking Madagascar. Are you out of your mind? But Dega, I think he was trying to make a point because everyone always says they always got to make fun of Bentleys. It's like, oh, they're so high end. Oh, the only thing you got to do, do to bring it down to your end is uh, just fuck it up. And sure enough, he did. He does. He, he modifies it to a point where, okay, it's no longer a luxury car. It's no longer a sports car. It's a freaking off-road beast. And of course, as you know, the car father, or as we call him, uh, it would just, it just thought so crazy. He just went batshit insane creating this uh, this monstrosity with the Bentley car. It's great. But anyway, uh, yeah, not much else I can say. The, the, the whole location just makes you just go, wow. Like, parts of the world, even despite the COVID uh, nonsense happening, we, I really want to see parts of these parts of the world that look, look beautiful. Whether it's in a car show like this or watching Gordon Ramsay on Chard or or anything of that nature, you would you would definitely have have a good time if you if the time and the money were there there if you were weren't like these guys just so out of their element, just having fun. Having an adventure, whether you know in Madagascar, which is which point or not, is actually pretty pretty fun and entertaining in its own right. All right, so with that, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the give the massive hunt 
a an eight, eight and a half out of ten. That, that's as generous as I'm getting it. My my one nitpick is I really wish they would have raged more at each other because nothing is more entertaining than, than hearing someone yell Clarkson or or Hammond at each other <laughs> than than this. And of course, I did, we got a glimpse of that in the Namibia special. We got a glimpse of that in the in the Columbia special, but not here. And of course, it, 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 but yeah, I don't know. Take your pick. I really enjoy it. Um, if you never, if you have not seen the Massive Hunt, go watch it now. Over, it's over available on Amazon, Amazon Prime. Go, go watch it. You'll laugh your ass off. And of course, just make you just go speeding power. You make you, it'll make you want to travel the world again. All right. Once this whole COVID blows over. All right. So that's us for today. Thumbs up, video. Subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for some more awesome and exciting videos.